put it, and I didn't have any good time, didn't have anything, so I didn't get a furlough, so they pushed it through that I had a furlough so I could go by myself there. Of course, I didn't have any clothes because you had to turn them all in. So I had to dress in a woman's, a woman's sweater, a size 9, I wear a size 10 and a half shoe, size 9 shoes, and we're on our way to, to Colorado. And that is part one of Brother Tom's testimony, how the Lord directed him through federal prison. And of course, Apostle Paul knew well what it was like to be in bonds. In 2 Corinthians eleven twenty three, he says, quote, in labors more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in deaths oft. The, the word of the Lord is not bound um, by someone else's incarceration. Not at all. And in part two and three, we'll hear the incredible miracles that the Lord accomplished. In fact, at the end of Colossians, Apostle Paul actually asked us to remember his bonds. That's how important this time was before the Lord for Apostle Paul. And you'll hear real life examples of how important this time was for our friend Tom. In Colossians 4.18, it says, The salutation by the hand of me, Paul, remember my bonds. Grace be with you. Amen. So can we look sideways at anyone's past? Can we consider someone's past? Absolutely not. God wants us to see each other through his eyes. We are saints. We are beloved brethren, regardless of any unique experiences, shall we say, because all of it works together for good to those that love the Lord, to those that are the called according to his purpose. That's in Romans. Now, up next, we'll hear about what it means to be in solitary confinement. Our friend Tom has a wonderful sense of humor. And so he mentioned that four months in solitary confinement and how it was the favor of the Lord. Well, what an incredible stance to have to know that. But there are some very real realities of what it's like to be in solitary confinement. In fact, Daniel from the Word, he was in a kind of solitary confinement while he was in the lion's den. And I have a very special song I wanted to feature right now that goes so well to Tom's testimony. It's actually sung and presented by the youth choir that was at the same Christian summer camp that Tom is offering his testimony at. So here we go. This uh, this song by the youth choir, it's called Dare to Be a Daniel. And first we're going to hear a young man who's the soloist read from Daniel. So it's really wonderful stuff. Will everyone please stand at attention for the reading of the Lord's word. Daniel chapter 6 verse 16. Then the king commanded, 